Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkPad T14, the Gen 4 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplug from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have seven screws by the red arrows. After you remove those screws, we're going to take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and we're going to go across the seam of the bottom case and pry it up from the rest of your computer. It's generally best to start near the back two hinges and in this case it was easiest to start right on top of that hinge with a small narrow plastic pry tool. Make sure you don't put the pry tool too far in, keep it on the edge, go nice and slow but careful but firm and you'll be able to get that bottom case off. After you remove the bottom case this is what you're looking at for the rest of the computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any upgrade or replacement parts for this specific model, the T14, there will be a link above, also below in the description, it'll have all of those tools and supplies and all of these replacement parts for this model computer. Now, before touching anything in a computer, I always remove or at least unplug my battery. Computers are safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. So here's your battery right down here. The battery is held down by these six screws and plugs into the motherboard right there. And the plug itself is not wired, it's actually part of the battery. So after removing all the screws, you just lift the battery up and that unplugs it from the motherboard. Now that the battery is removed, we have gained access to our CMOS battery right here. It is wrapped in yellow electrical tape and it's stuck down by double-sided tape. So if you're here to replace this battery, you can pop that up fairly easily. Again, it's just double-sided tape. And then you would unplug it from the motherboard right here. Now I will have a replacement CMOS battery below in the description in that link I told you about with all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. Those of you who are here to reset BIOS, you don't need to pull that battery up. You can leave it down. You would just need to unplug it from the motherboard for 15, 20 seconds. That should be sufficient to reset BIOS. Now keep in mind, in most cases, this will only reset your BIOS system settings and not your BIOS password. If you want more BIOS password reset information, check below in the description in the FAQs. And I guess the last thing to mention about this operation, a BIOS reset is a common troubleshooting step if your computer is not turning on. So for those of you who are here for that reason, there are many other reasons why a laptop may not turn on. Uh, if you want help with that troubleshooting process, I will have a link above, also below in the description, It'll be the full troubleshooting process that I use in my shop trying to figure out why a laptop doesn't turn on and how to fix it. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside your ThinkPad T14 and access your CMOS battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.